The death of Lord Rasla Heos Nabradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the kingdom of Darnaska. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalis. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria in the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nabradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rosla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon meet out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or, as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca's surrender. Lord Romanos, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbana Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta when the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. You there. Can you hear me? It's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He <laughs> fights to defend his homeland. <laughs> Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. You bore a few cuts. But you are still whole. Well, can you stand? <laughs> <clears throat> Think you can fight? I'm fine, sir. How old are you, Rex? Seventeen, sir. Young. Family? My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We That's Fossler. Fossler, go ahead. I will handle Fossler this. Fossler is so awesome. Godspeed. Probably the best uh, NPC in the game. At least in my opinion. <sighs> Steady, Rex. Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. We move! Now it's gonna show you the uh, basics of the game. Unfortunately, a lot of these things uh, you have to do even if you already know it. Because that won't let you progress, so... The 
one good thing about this game for uh, Let's Plays is that uh, the battles are pretty quick, so you won't have to edit a lot of this stuff out. Or let's just say I won't have to. That has got to be the most annoying sound in the game. Whenever you go by somebody you can talk to, it always makes that sound. I don't know why it always does that. I wish you could turn it off. Because, I mean, it's not like you can't see, uh, the uh, square changed to their name. So, I mean, I know it's kind of nitpicking, but I think I'm gonna sign off for now because uh, killing up uh, pretty soon is not their long cutscene. So uh, this is Visa 15 with um, Final Fantasy 12. I will see you guys later.